When people go for a sports drink, they usually think of Gatorade. Gatorade usually runs the market in sports drinks business. Um, however, today we are going to be going for a newcomer in the field, and it's called Prime. Um, this is a pretty interesting drink, kind of hard to find. A lot of the stores are sold out of it. My Walmart happened to have it, and I bought all the flavors except for one, which was the one that tastes like the, the rocket popsicles. Um, let's go over the ingredients really quick and see what's in this drink, what makes it so special, so hard to come by. First off, it's really advertising 10% coconut water. This is kind of cool. I haven't seen a lot of sports drinks with 10% coconut water in it. Um, I, I like the taste of coconut water. I do not like the taste of coconut. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just where I'm coming from with this. I will drink this in an unbiased manner because it is flavored with other stuff too. They have different flavors. For example, this one I'm holding right now is Tropical Punch, and I personally love Tropical Punch. Um, calories, 25 calories in this bottle. Um, they usually range between 20 and 25, um, but it's different depending on the color that you get. Zero fat, zero grams fat, zero grams trans fat, zero grams saturated fat, zero uh, milligrams cholesterol, 10 milligrams sodium, um, six grams carbs, no fiber, two grams sugar. So it's not a sugar-free drink if you're trying to avoid that. However, at two grams sugar, it's not too, too bad. And of course, zero grams protein. Not a lot of sports drinks have any sort of protein value in them. Ingredients-wise, filtered water, coconut water from concentrate, citric acid, and then a bunch of other stuff that I can't really even pronounce. Um, they do have vegetable juice for color, though, I see right there, so that's kind of cool. No artificial coloring. It's strictly by vegetables, for vegetables, and it's kind of healthy, you know? I, 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 I would say that it's on the healthier side. Naturally flavored, no artificial colors. Uh, Gatorade uses a lot of artificial coloring and flavors for their drinks, so this definitely surpasses that in that regard. Um... But yeah, if you're going to go for a drink and you're tired of water, I'd say go for it. Vitamin-wise, 700 milligrams of potassium. Potassium is always good for you. Keep you from eating bananas if you don't like them. It has vitamin A, um, vitamin B, B6. It also has vitamin E. It has vitamin B12, magnesium, and zinc as well. So if you like any of those things, you are good to go. It has zero iron, zero calcium, and zero vitamin D. Vitamin D, you just go in the sun. Iron, you just go to the gym. And calcium, you just drink milk or take pills or something. Not really that big of a deal. Those things are you can get from other sources. They're super plentiful. Um, let's get into the video. Hello. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm finally showing myself. Um, after years of hosting stolen memes and, uh, what's up, what's up dog? But after years of posting stolen memes and among other things, uh, I have decided to finally start making videos. And as much as I don't like mukbangs or food reviews, this first one is in fact a food review, not a mukbang because I have a little bit of self-esteem. Uh, anyways, let's get into it. Today we're going to be trying bang, or not fucking bangs, primes. Um, so, disclaimer, I never tried these before. I bought them two weeks ago, and I've been waiting for the video, so if they are tasting a little off, they might be expired. I don't know where the expiration date is at. And then uh, another disclaimer, I am not wearing these sunglasses to look cool or anything. I'm wearing them because I've been looking at my screen, trying to figure out how to set this up for the past three hours, and my eyes are bloodshot red and burning, so if I do not wear these, I will die and be blind, and that'll be all your fault. So let's get into this. Um, Prime, as you heard in the intro, I went over the ingredients a little bit, went over the calorie intake and whatnot. Um, they're gluten-free, and they're also caffeine-free, so it's pretty cool that you get that Free. Um, a lot of places, a lot of other companies make you uh, pay for that extra 
which is a morally I'm not for, you know. I like my gluten for free if I'm going to get it. Uh, if not, just take it out, you know. I don't want to pay extra for gluten. So let's take this uh, this first sip out of the Tropical Punch flavored Prime and see first uh, first impressions of it. See how I like it. It's really sweet. It's stupid sweet. It tastes like it has way more sugar than it actually has, but it only has two grams of sugar in it. I don't know how they made it taste so sweet. It's probably the the vegetable juice that they put in there. That might be where the sugar is actually coming from, but you know, I'm no expert in this. I'm literally just making a video because I'm bored one day and I'm off. So uh, do with that information as you please. First impression, it does taste like Tropical Punch. It tastes like, it literally tastes like Hawaiian Punch. If you were to go to a party or a school dance and you're awkward like me, so you're just standing by the punch bowl, not involving, not getting, interacting with anyone, being involved in the dance, just sipping drinks throughout the night and then running to the bathroom when you can't drink anymore. That's literally what this tastes like. Um, mixability with uh, alcohol, Definitely you can mix with alcohol, vodka, rum, nothing dark. But if you want to do that, you could probably do that with this. It tastes that sweet. It's really good. Next up, we have the grape flavored. Yes, it is grape. A lot of times they like to trick me, and they say that it's grape when it's actually something weird, like blueberry. Why, why would it be purple if it's blueberry? Anyways, this one also has 25 calories in it. I assume the ingredients are going to be about the same, so I'm not going to go over that again. Um, first impression of this, let's see how it goes. Again, super sweet. The grape flavor isn't that there. It has kind of a industrial-ish taste to it. Like a diet soda, artificial sugar taste. Um, that wasn't apparent in the first one, the Tropical Punch. However, I'm expecting Tropical Punch to already have a weird, distorted taste to it because it is so sweet, and Hawaiian Punch is kind of a crap product, you know? Um, this, definitely, it's more apparent. It has a super, just, just like an artificial taste to it. I'm not a big fan of the grape. The Tropical Punch was really tasty. This one is, unfortunately, not that good. Um, where will I rank it? I will rank Tropical Punch number one, and then this, by default, number two. It may lower later on in the list, or it may just stay number two, assuming how the other ones taste. Next up, we have Lemon Lime, and it has the classic Lemon Lime color that you know and love. The slightly dehydrated piss is what I like to call it. Uh, this one only has 20 calories in it, so it's five less calories than the grape and the tropical punch, if you are into that type of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and take a little sippy sip of this. Mmm. Piss. Just kidding. This is actually really good. I, I like this one a lot more than the tropical punch, actually. It tastes just like the lemon-lime Gatorade, except it's a little sweeter. That was the biggest it gripe that I had with the Lemon Lime Gatorade, is that it wasn't that sweet for how many sh grams of sugar and how many calories were in it. Uh, this, on the other hand, fixes that issue, and it's actually really tasty. I like this one. This is one that I would drink a lot. The aftertaste is there. Unlike the grape where the aftertaste was artificial, this one tastes fine. I'll be taking two sips from each one, just so it's a completely unbiased opinion. Let's see, next up, I am going to do orange. The classic orange, the first one that I've seen at the store. The one that I've had for the longest period of time. Let's see what this one tastes like. Um, ah, and if I don't spill it all over me. This one was filled up pretty high, like all the way up to the brim. So... I don't know what their processing plant is like, but I guess it varies how much is in each bottle.
Yep, that definitely tastes like orange. One thing that I would say about this is um, they sh could have gone for like a cooler like name for each one. Like the, dr the name Prime is kind of a cool name by itself for a drink, you know? They could have gone for like a, a Thunder Orange or some bullshit like that. Um, that's what I would have gone for, you know? But then again, I'm no marketing expert. Yeah, the orange tastes like orange, tastes kind of like orange juice, kind of watered down orange juice or Sunny D. Really sweet, really good. I think the orange actually beats lemon lime for the top spot. So now the rankings are going. It's uh, orange first, lemon lime second, tropical punch third, and then we have the grape coming in at last place. Um, I'm not never really been a big fan of grape as it is, so that's to be expected. Blue raspberry. This is the one that I thought was blueberry at first. Um, it is not. It is definitely not blueberry. It's blue raz. Um, never really been a fan of blue raz. I dislike it more than grape, just to be honest with you guys. You know, I just, uh, I remember one time I ate a bunch of blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers, and I got sick off of them. I literally ate an entire bag, and I threw up, and it wasn't blue, but I still had that blue raspberry taste. That's how many I ate, um, and ever since then, I can't even eat a blue raspberry without gagging anymore, you know? So let's check this out. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely blue raspberry. Um, not really the biggest fan of it, but I have my own personal bias for that. If I wasn't being biased, it, I do like it. It's not bad. It's definitely not going to top the orange spot. But if you do like blue raspberry, this is absolutely amazing. I would say it goes orange, blue raz, lemon lime, and then tropical punch, and then grape coming in the last place. I haven't tried the new flavor, the rocket popsicle flavor that they have. I, I really like those things, so I assume that would be really good. Um, so just for argument purposes, let's put that at last place, putting grape in at second to last place since I haven't tried it by default. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are my first impressions of the Prime drink. Um, I don't really know where to look. I don't want to look directly at the camera. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, stoked to be posting a couple more videos here and there. Stoked to, uh, to actually make content, not just reposting memes that I thought were funny. Um, I'm surprised how many views some of those memes have gotten. I more post them for my own personal amusement because I was losing storage in my phone at the time. Um, but yeah, this is going to be generally the setup. I'm sitting on a, a yoga ball. Uh, we got a punching thing. We'll make some videos with that. And I got some pictures. I'll give you guys a tour. Um, I, I don't really know what else to say. That's pretty much it, you know? Prime's pretty decent drink. I'd definitely go for it over Gatorade if the stores have it. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it.